Now the chronicles of America's gun violence, both alarming and disturbing. We have a chilling account from the recent mass shooting in Texas school. When the 18-year-old gunman opened fire, Mia Carrillo played dead by smearing herself with her slain friend's blood. Mia is just 11 years old. Needless to say, she is still grappling with nightmares, trauma of the incident. She was asked a few questions in a pre-recorded testimony. Listen in. When I went to the barracks, uh, he shot my friend that was next to me. And I thought he was going to come back to the room. So I grabbed the blood and I put it all over me. And what did you do then when you put the blood on yourself? Just stay quiet and then I got my teacher's phone and called 911. What did you tell 911? I told her that we need help and she sent the police in the in our classroom. Mia is a fourth grader at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. She is a survivor of last month's bloodbath. Nineteen of her classmates, two teachers, were shot dead in the attack as Mia recounted the terrifying ordeal. She also pleaded with U.S. lawmakers for better school security to prevent another attack. The young girl said she fears such violence could happen again at school. If there was something that you want people to know about that day and about you, right? or things that you want different, what would it be? To have security for me. Do you feel safe at school? Why not? Because I don't want it to happen again. And you think it's going to happen again? Now, Mia was joined by other families affected by gun violence as parents of multiple young victims testified before a congressional panel. Families of victims of gun violence pleaded with members of the Congress to do more. They called on lawmakers to ban assault rifles and high-capacity magazines. Also raised the legal age to purchase these weapons from 18 to 21 years. Words can't describe how hard it is to bury a child. I ache for anyone and all who have done the same. My son's death was a result of a criminal with an evil heart and a justice system failing to hold him accountable for the laws he had already broken. We seek a ban on assault rifles and high capacity magazines. We understand that for some reason, to some people, to people with money, to people who fund political campaigns, that guns are more important than children. So at this moment, we ask for progress. We seek to raise the age to purchase these weapons from 18 to 21 years of age. We seek red flag laws, stronger background checks. We also want to repeal gun manufacturers' liability immunity. Now, the 18-year-old gunman Salvador Ramos had spent roughly 80 minutes inside the school. The critical incident has been put under a review now. The Justice Department has named a team of nine people to aid in a review of law enforcement response to the shooting. This is including NFPI official and former police chiefs. The review will include the examination of police policies, training, communication, along with the deployment of officers and tactics. It will also examine who was in command of the incident and how police prepared for potential active shooter incidents. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.